we're going to start with our bow. We're going to take a 12 by one and a half inch piece of DSP, mark it at six inches. We're going to punch both the top and the bottom at six inches and two and a half on each end. Then we're going to take the triple banner punch and do a banner on both ends. You want to fold the ends in half, lining them up with the other end of the bow, and then use your bone folder to create the curl for the bow. Take a piece of scrap paper and some strong adhesive and attach one end, then the other. So you'll have a circle with your tails together. Use some tear tape that will be on the inside and push down the center part of your bow. Now take your bow center strip and you're going to add fast fuse to both ends. You want to wrap it around the middle starting from the back and you'll probably have to trim a little off the ends. Now we're going to work on the card base. Um, I here chose to use embossed for my decorative panels. You can easily change this up and use DSP on the front for your decorative panels. This is a very versatile card uh, that you can make. So I'm just attaching my decorative panels to my mat with fast fuse, and I'm lining up the pattern from the embossing folder before I put it on. And I'm installing it also with fast fuse. I figure this card might get manhandled a bit and I want a really strong adhesive. Now I'm also attaching the inner panels so that you can write a note to the receiver of the gift. So before you seal it up, place your gift card inside and put a little tape under it. This will keep the gift card from falling down out of sight. Add the tear tape to both sides and then peel off your backings. Um, when you, before you close it, bend the card in a little bit in the middle, makes it easier to get the card in and out. We're using tear tape to um, attach the bow to the front of the card. Attach the bow to, to the center of the top section of the gift card holder. And we're gonna make the tag that's gonna hold it closed. We're using the tin of tags photopolymer set. And we're using several circles from the layered circles die and a one and a half inch punch to create the layers for this closure. And they're all gonna be attached together with some snail. We are gonna use the foam <clears throat> adhesive strips because they're a little thicker than dimensionals and you need that extra space for the closure. When you attach this to the card base, make sure it overlaps the top flap by about an eighth of an inch to keep it closed. Thank you for joining me today.